Much needed medicine for hostages in Gaza is en route. The major breakthrough on Wednesday came as Qatar and France helped broker the first deal between Israel and Hamas since November. The agreement will see medication sent to Israeli hostages taken captive in the October 7th terrorist attack in return for additional aid to Palestinians in Gaza. Medicine will be provided to around 45 of the more than 130 hostages that remain captive. The shipment coming from Egypt includes three months worth of medication for chronic illnesses as well as other medicine and vitamins. The medicine will be delivered by the Red Cross and then handed over to Hamas for the hostages. Two hostage deaths were confirmed on Tuesday. Israel is demanding the bodies back, claiming the hostages were killed by Hamas. Hamas released a video Tuesday showing the bodies, saying they were killed in an Israeli airstrike, something Israel denies. For Palestinians, Qatar did not specify what supplies they will get, but it does come at a pivotal time for the Gaza Strip. A U.N. senior official warned earlier this week if aid is not delivered to Palestinians, it will result in widespread famine and disease. U.N. officials say there are too few border crossings, a hobbled vetting process, and widespread fighting in the territory, hampering its efforts to provide humanitarian assistance to the region. At least 85 percent of Gazans are without homes, and the U.N. reports a quarter of the population is starving. France said the current plan took a lot of effort. The country says it took months to work out. The deal comes more than 100 days into the war with rising tensions in the Middle East. A flurry of strikes and counter strikes this week from northern Iraq to southern Syria to the Red Sea and from southern Lebanon to Pakistan. There are no signs of tensions easing, but some relief for those in the crossfire is now on its way.